so I did. I mean, I went to a trade school and I got a vocation as well. Um, so I, I could, I would always be able to make a dime. Hmm. But I'm very fortunate that you know I just threw myself into the career, and it's been all these years. <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's over 40 years already. That so is... I'm very thankful. <laughs> it's it's been wonderful, and you know. I, I hate to say like it's been like it's over, but it's not because I keep doing and doing. It's just like the hokey, hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> he knows it. Um... You didn't know you were going to get so much vocal <laughs> rest during this interview, did you? No, I did not. <laughs> I did, When I saw your golden corral, you were very like, hi, how you doing? And little chit chat and then obviously we wanted to eat so but you know, here we go interview full tilt boogie Alex, and Alex here we are we've been friends for over a year <laughs> yeah finally get to connect this way and learn your story so when you're teaching students yeah what do you say to them to encourage them that you know maybe they do want to pursue this as a career what what kind of advice would you give them and any other up and coming no, I say follow your dream wherever it may lead you and if you want show business i always say you need to be married to it and you need to put on blinders like they put on horses and that's all you have to think about you have to pursue it with a vision Mm -hmm. and don't let anything or anyone deter you did you have a vision absolutely (laughs) you did Absolutely. And yes, I, knew what, I knew from when I was a child what I wanted to do. And I didn't let anything stop me. That's what a lot of and, people are, artists are missing. Yes. Yes. And it's not easy. Uh, no. You know, and there's always someone more talented and more spectacular than you are. And, uh, you know, so what? I mean, you know, believe in what you have. Everybody has their own gifts, own unique gifts. And I think that's important to remember. Do you, that leads me to the next question. Do you think we all have an artist inside of us? Ha! Huh, I think we do. And I think that it may be, you know, masqueraded as something else. Like, for instance, cooking. I think there's an artistry to cooking. Uh, I love cooking myself. Mm. Uh, it can be very creative. So I think there is an artist of some kind in everyone. It may be, you know, a woman that likes to, that does her makeup so beautifully. There's an art to that as well. Combing someone's hair. Um, you know, there's an art. There's, there's so much. There's creativity in everyone. I don't like to say, oh, I have no creativity. Mm. I have no talents at all. But I don't believe that. I believe that there are many, many talents. Uh, some are just not recognized mm. right away. Got to bring it out of them somehow. That's right. Mm. That's and he's the man to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it was meant to be that I got you as I've done over 50 shows because now I know how to <laughs> adapt. <laughs> adapt. Yeah, back and let him rock and roll. <laughs> well, hey, it was all good stuff here. Um, so where can people connect with you and find out about more of your shows and productions? Great. Well, they can connect with me on Facebook. Uh, my personal page is Jimmy Ferraro. And I put things up there all the time. Also, um, on Facebook, there's Murder Mystery for Hire, Inc. Mm -hmm. And that's our murder mystery company. So you can find out what I'm doing there as well. Um, They also uh, have, um, let's see, I think those are probably the best ways to get in touch with me, you know, quickly enough. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, there was that... um... (laughs) That headshot of yours roaming around eBay. <laughs> oh my goodness! What is with Historical that? Historical images. It's not, I know. I mean, I was. In, can you imagine me being in shock by seeing my headshot for sale? And there's a couple of them. A couple of them from different years. Yeah, actor Jimmy Ferraro. I don't know what was like. The last one I think was like sixteen ninety nine. Um, it went up. I think it started out as like nine ninety nine. Mm. I mean, it was kind of funny, you know. I could I couldn't help laughing, but also I was agog. Look at me, historical images. Oh my God, am I that old? <laughs> but you gotta you gotta realize that it, it really is kind of comical and surprising, all rolled into one. Really, just keep popping up like, and you post them like 
That's pretty wild. <laughs> eBay. How crazy. All right. But that show biz, Alex. It sure is. That show biz. And you've been in it for several, oh. several decades. Oh, I, I guess so. My God. I'm a, the, the, the audience is going to think that this my guy is probably in his hundreds, you know, <laughs> 120 years old with all that I've done, right? But you're doing it. That's the main yeah. thing. So, final question. Why does art matter? Oh, for so many reasons, you know, and, and not just uh, typical reasons that I think you would think up off the top of your head. But it, art, it, it, art and being involved in it is so much more than the act, actual performance or the final result. But just for instance, a dance class, you don't have to be become a dancer professionally. The poise and the um, the poise and the, 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 the command of the body that it's given just for life. It's not. It, it's so important, not just for the um, to be a performer, but art. And we're talking about, I guess, the performing arts in that question can give you so much more in real life. It can build up your self esteem. Uh, again, acceptance and just make you a more well-rounded person. Mm. Good answer. <laughs> hey, thanks. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. It was a lot. Oh, is that of... that it? <laughs> I mean, unless you've got something else that somebody should know about. You're like, I keep going on and on and on. <laughs> Maybe we'll do another one sometime, Alex. Hey, there's always we could always it'd be great to have a return guest and see what's brewing with you. But best Thank of luck you. with the shows. Keep doing what you're doing and inspiring others to pursue their dreams. Yeah, absolutely. Follow your dreams wherever they may lead. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there you have it, my friends. Good conversation. I'm glad we got to talk. He's a talker. But, man, look at that. All these years, four decades of experiences, wealth of information. Couldn't ask for more. And his advice makes so much sense. And man, oh man, oh man, I wish I had his focus when I was young. You got to be married to it. If you're going to pursue show business, you got to be married to it. You got to put on blinders, have a focus and a vision. And... I did not, but he did. And look where he is. He's living his dream. He is still doing what he loves in show business, whether it's theatrical performances, dinner shows, directing, teaching, acting, touring. He never stops. And that's so inspiring. It's inspiring to me, and I hope it's inspiring to you. If he can do it, you can do it too. It's that simple. Thanks again, Susan, for connecting us. And it took a while, but I'm glad we finally got him on the show. Maybe we'll do a part two. You never know what the future holds. Depends on uh, if I decide to make this a seasonal thing or still weekly. Like I said, the weekly thing is a little bit of a struggle sometimes. Let me know. Write back to me. I'm at Instant Alex 70 on Instagram. You could tweet me at the real Alex Rudy. I'm on Facebook, and of course, there's the Artist Matters Facebook group. And you could write to me at artistmatters1 at gmail.com. Like your feedback, let me know what you think. Should I do it seasonal? Should I keep going weekly? Definitely appreciate your feedback. Definitely appreciate you for listening to the show. Check out Jimmy's links, and send him some love, go see his shows. If you want to be in his shows, I'm sure he has auditions in North Carolina, so check him out. And of course, hey, if you need a little uh, reminder of who the previous guests have been, check out theartistreallymatters.com. You'll see profiles of all the artists and links to their stuff. And of course, you can hear the podcast episodes where they're featured. And a bonus, which is, of course, my granddaughter, Lucia. So, thanks one and all for tuning in. And I will see you next week with 
the one year anniversary of the artist matters we made it so stay tuned for that and it'll be a really exciting episode hearing all these little snippets from previous guests so stick around for that and I will see you then until next we meet no matter where you go let your creativity flow we'll be right back.